blessed afternoon, beloveds. <sighs> what an amazing day it is. What is it? It is the tenth. Yes. It is a day of manifestation. A day of new cycles beginning. It feels new. It feels fresh. I've just been excited to be in this energy today. I've just been excited today in every way. <laughs> Seven geese flying overhead. We were back at the lake so I can be in nature. Let the energies express more clearly this way. They feel direct. It feels, something feels direct. There is a redirection and a new course which is becoming clear. As far as my personal experience of this, it feels very strongly that someone is thinking of me. Who I do not know, but uh, the kundalini energies are flowing, shall we say. And it feels quite nice. I am just basking in it. There is much more. There is much happening in the collective right now. And just being out today amongst the people, hearing conversations of change, of realization that certain things are not pleasing, not inspiring, not creating happiness, not creating really much of anything. There's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> and I desire to pull on this energy and just express it, see what it has to say. This may be the longest reading yet. So, strap in. This is all for myself, but since we are shared self, it is for us. The runes desired to speak, first thing. It is like a white noise. There is just something coming. Something coming. Oh, there is, yes, it, something is coming. <laughs> uh, sexual energy. This is Ingvaz. And look at these. We're accompanied by light codes. Ooh, yeah, I mean, this is the energy I'm feeling. <clears throat> Tuned in, tapped in, turned on. It is a generative and at once both projectile and receptive. Huh. It, I am feeling a masculine energy from this, but it is a masculine energy that is longing to receive. This is embodied in the yin yang symbol. Ultimately, both forces are both things. They are not only each androgynous in the sense that they have masculine and feminine qualities, but each is penetrating and receiving simultaneously. The masculine aspect carrying the light is received by the feminine aspect, who at once is carrying the love and is received by the masculine aspect. So it is equal give and take, mutual reciprocity, simultaneous expansion and ecstasy. Ingvas is powerful and potent today. show the dice cup the cauldron in which components are mixed it 
is facing in the upright direction today, which means things are flowing. There is a passionate change coming. Ooh. Something to break the ice. Interesting. There has been a sense of stillness and stagnation, but this is uh, changing. If I can arrange these appropriately. being fueled. <laughs> there is much desire here. And it is every kind of desire. All creation, all passion is the same, ultimately. The passion that you feel towards creating a piece of art or expressing the self in whatever way it is through song, dance, speaking, poetry, through cooking. The passion you feel towards a lover. All of these are the same thing. They are all creative energy, ultimately sexual in some nature. It is desire. And it is flowing here. There is some attempt to hold this back. It will not succeed. This is very thin ice. <laughs> There's also the realization of this by the stillness. There's a surrender in Isa. I would like one more, please. Ooh. Mana is reversed. A realization that there is some collaboration, some union that was rejected. That is now desired. Okay, one more. Yeah. And that was... Self-defeating. The rejection of it. Now it is revealed that because of this, this denial of desire, we are not in alignment with the natural order, the natural flow of things. Destiny, justice, divine alignment was denied, subverted. The way to upright this is to allow that passion to flow. Interesting. Very interesting. And this feels, of course, specific and collective. It is for me, it is for all, we are all connected. This is taking place on a grand scale and playing out in a personal way in each life as it is. Hmm. Very interesting. We will begin with the guardians. Which has the page of pentacles at the bottom. There is a nervousness a desire to give, <clears throat> a, a nervousness that is not enough. Mm. But backed by temperance, yeah, there's that nervousness. There's an understanding this must be given to for a bigger purpose, for balance to take place within the self. And so without but there's a nervousness about this. There has been much debate. There is, again, that feeling that somehow this is 
not a mistake, but not enough. But there is a desire to learn and a recognition that regardless of anything, this must take place one way or another. The outcome must be relinquished. Despite the fear around going towards this, the choice is very clear. The choice itself. Love, peace are in the air. The choice has been made clear because it's time. All of the energies have aligned to assist with the expansion of this perspective with the removal of illusion. Now we are only blocking ourselves. And the blockage has become too big of a burden to really hold back anymore. There is a sense of holding back a tremendous flow of energy. And this is a tremendous flow. This is certain fast forward motion. This is a strong desire for action and communication. And it is driven from a very deep level. But again, there is, there is this fear. There's a little bit of a fear to come out of hiding. Awareness that doing so will in fact assist with the healing. That it is the following of something which is desired and prayed for and has been made manifest that it is time to give to this. An awareness that oh, the Ace of Cups is underneath. That this is a whole new world. It's, it's a little bit scary. It's a connection unlike anything that has ever been experienced before. This is new ground. This cup has never flowed so... I almost want to say violently. <laughs> Vibrantly, violently. The emotions have never run so deep. There has not been one we felt so strongly about in a way that is protective, but not jealous. In a way that is supremely desiring this connection, but not defensive of it or about it. There's an appreciation for the sovereignty of each self involved in this for the individual strength and divinity and that is the part of what is pulling so strongly there has never been a connection like this for two of equal measure on equal footing tested one another's strength in a way that is playful and uplifting this is not a power struggle. This is the encouragement of oneself who is seeking oneself alongside another doing the same. This is two seeking the same thing. And that is creating an intensity of emotion that is changing the perspective of everything, of the whole world. So much is being revealed. So much is being revealed as a burden. It's time to take this leap.
There is a lot of energy here. Put these back. And top card. Oh, that just says it all. This fool has never felt fresher. Look at the aurora in the background. This is beautiful. left and right. Feeling of anything is possible. And truly believing that, having heard that phrase for a long time and never really heard it, never really felt it, now there is a new understanding. We are standing on new ground. Here. Page of Pentacles turning. Okay, we'll keep that one. What is the message here, Spirit? Wow. Just in splitting the deck. I mean, holy speaking truths. Batman. They're coming right for me. Again, this is... This is a very balanced energy. There's a desire to speak this truth, to achieve this balance, to relieve the heartache, to relieve attention. Mm. Four of Cups is what jumped out. There's a connection that was denied. And again, collectively, this applies on many levels. It is, at the broadest level, the denial of our own spirituality, the denial of connection with the self, which then bleeds into denial of meaningful connections with others on a very large scale globally. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Wanting to speak the truth of our connections with one another. But this is specific. There is a redefining of love here. There is a realizing that the best laid plans never have resulted in something really meaningful. Oh, that truth needs to come out. There is a desire to share a newfound clarity in this. A realization of wanting to give. Wanting to give to the self more fully, wanting to give of the self to others more fully. Realizing the connectedness of all of this. Okay. 
Okay. <sighs> oh, we want to honor the self in this. There's a realization that not expressing our love and affection, not expressing these connections is painful. It's not making us happy. The Emperor came out directly under the Four of Cups with the Empress on top. There is a realization that an offer of love was made by the Empress to the Emperor, and this was not accepted. And now there is a desire to come back with this. Top three cards. Four of Cups, the Sun, Three of Swords. This is, this has become tremendously clear. The rejection of this offer is painful now. It's witnessed in the light of day. There's a new understanding of love, of what love is. Queen of Cups coming out directly beneath the sun. Everything is suddenly making sense. All of these emotions. It is understood now. They were not intended to be logically comprehended. They are themselves a gift of pure energy. was the ego which prevented this and the ego which now is keeping us in this state of heartache but that is changing the emperor has become aware there is a new way to love a way to love that is not shadow ego based that has real passion in it and depth and clarity full exposure, full vulnerability. The power of this, the power of being unguarded. Yeah. Big time soul expansion. This is all being divinely guided. There are realizations occurring at many levels. Wow. <laughs> full exposure of devil energy. Full exposure of self-sabotaging. We are being asked to remove these barriers. This is in reverse. To become exposed. To expose ourselves even directly to the shadow, to integrate the shadow, to share that within and without. This is the healing connection. This is the sharing of, uh, I was being led by shadow. I was engaged in an illusion. I was deceiving myself about this. And now I see in the very expressing of this, this vulnerability allows the connection to occur, allows the aligning of energy, and allows complete and transformative healing. This is a multi-layered energy. There is on one hand the illusion, which must be put to an end. There is also the fact that this 
was ended prematurely, was cut out because of fear, because of the boundary. Yeah, that is being revealed. Coming in hot. <laughs> I mean, holy mackerel, judgment, bookending, the Hierophant. This is not an energy that can be hidden from. This is complete clarity. This is bolt from the blue absolute revelation within the self of, oh my goodness, this is what's happened. This is what happened. This is what I've been doing. This is why I've been disappointed. And this is what I need to do to be proud of myself, to re-engage passion, to move forward, to release the bind of shadow ego. I have to open my heart. And I'm learning that in doing this, there is more passion, there is more power than ever I thought possible. There is a tremendous push towards this. Yeah. Towards the leaving behind of all, all which does not serve us. Ooh, and quite suddenly. This is a, a triggering on many levels. Hmm. Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? What can we know about this? Offer not accepted, offer rejected. Four of Cups. This was the defensiveness from before. Defensiveness against. But it is also shifting into the... by the devil. This, the rejection of this was driven entirely by shadow. This is being revealed. King of Pentacles and, oh, Ace of Cups reversed on top. For a long time, there has been a stubborn refusal of access to this area, to the heart. This is heart guardedness. But there's a strong desire for it to flow. It's being revealed. It's being revealed by the sun how much there's a sabotaging of one's own happiness. How much we have pushed away that was really something desired, really was something stable and unique and special but we were afraid to give to it. Yeah, realization that this, again, shadow, fear, does not keep one safe. It only keeps one asleep. It keeps one guarded. There is not safety in defensiveness. There is divine protection in vulnerability. the sun here to shine to warm our skin to be delighted in to remind us this is what we are we are light incarnate love incarnate All is being brought to the surface. All is being revealed. And it is all for a much greater purpose. It's for the ascension of Earth. It's for the awakening of all souls. Mm -hmm. A 
much greater purpose. Eight of Cups, revealing all which does not serve us, which is a lot. It is not just one cup that we've been sipping from, bloodying our lips. It is all of them. And that is a shocking revelation. It is, in some ways, earth-shattering. The realization that our entire foundation of life up until this point was based in shadow. It was upside down and backwards and not happy. Not happy. to give to. There's this three of swords. We want the real thing. We want real passion. Ego keeping us afraid of chasing our desires. time to expose the wounds to light. It's time to share. To let the shadow into the light is to integrate it. It is the light of one's own awareness, yes. But it is shared also, it is collective. Knight of Pentacles. Oh how stubbornly we have hidden this away, <laughs> hidden our own heartache. So deeply it has become hidden from ourselves in many cases. Wanting to keep up appearances, wanting to look like everything is fine, everything's okay, we've got a handle on things, a handle on our emotions. Wanting to keep our, our own emotions hidden, again, from others so much that they become hidden from the self. The realization that there is a desire, there is a need to be vulnerable. And to be open spiritually. This is how we grow. This is how one expands consciousness. This is how one lives in alignment. This is how one experiences being and returns to presence, to providence. Why is the emperor here? It is the masculine aspect which is realizing this, regardless of whether one identifies, self-identifies as divine, feminine, or masculine, of course, all contain both. And it is the masculine aspect which withholds from love, stubbornly, which keeps up appearances, which wants to appear strong and unshakable. Realizing the power in allowing the self to shake and in leaning into that. The power of vulnerability. Why is the emperor here? The emperor wants to love. The emperor wants... wants to connect with the empress within and without on every level. The 
this is revealed. How much we have engaged in this illusion by overthinking. Now the choice is becoming very clear. And this is a love which the Emperor has never experienced, and so it is a little frightening. The power of emotion behind this is making one feel, again, young. The power of emotion behind this. Can I say that again? Shocked by the depth of this emotion. like a kid again it, and it's a bit of this is nervousness of I thought I had things figured out I thought I was stable I thought I had my emotions under wraps under control I thought I had them locked down now I am seeing not only how that does not benefit me but they want to flow and they are flowing The Emperor is experiencing love like never before known. The flowing of a cup that was thought to be perpetually full. The dreams that we had boxed and, and stuffed into the closet, these are dreams of love dreams of emotion, dreams of connection. I mean, Queen of Cups leading into Queen of Cups. This is a new depth of emotion that was hardly even dreamed of before. Why is the Queen of Cups here? powerful it is, how transformative it is, simply the experience of love is profoundly healing. Thank you, spirit. It is rejuvenating. Oh, let's see. Ace of Wands, which came out in the reverse. And this is what we are walking away from. There is hesitancy still in walking away from this, but it is very clear. It's hesitancy, but it is not anxiety. There is an awareness we are walking towards by leaving this behind, we are walking towards a greater passion. What we are leaving behind is the lack of passion. That's why we're walking away from it. It's somewhat a shocking revelation how unhappy these, these partnerships have been, how lacking in actual love, in actual connection. But the realization of this is allowing us to make this journey and feel free to feel good about it. At a certain point, earlier in the progression of this energy, there was a great resistance to leaving this tower. It, is, it was a feathered nest. It was a comfortable space, but now we are realizing it's on fire. <laughs> and we don't want to stay there. 
we're quite happy to leave that behind, to leave behind this lack of passion, to move towards what is clearly a deeper, more meaningful connection. Something that is reinvigorating, that is expansive, yeah, that, that has real passion, even if it's a little nervous. There's love. Uh, it's the kind which transcends logic. And that is what is creating some of this nervousness, but at the same time, there's a tremendous forward momentum here. And some pride, some pride taken in ourselves for coming to this realization, for taking this journey, for doing this. Understanding we have a destiny, we have a path and a purpose in this universe, all of us, and that it is driving us towards happiness, towards rebirth. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? She has been trying to hide this. <laughs> Stubbornly. <laughs> uh, Knight of Cups. There's that rebirth energy again. This is emerging. This is, we want this victory. There has been a stubborn clinging to shadow ego. But there is also now a stubborn drive ahead. By the Knight of Cups with this. That passion is being redirected in a new way that is not in fear, but in desire. Again, not the passionate defense. Passionate pursuit of something truly wanted. Something we want to build. No more withholding. We want to build on this connection. We want to expand with this. We want to... We want to spread our wings together. We want to build towards... A unified victory. An opening of the heart. Speaking of truth. to more deeply clarify just a handful of these energies to see. Now I am excited to use the teeny tiny, which is tarot, which is small enough to <laughs> clarify the pocket-sized cards. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, again, the card of December. There is a desire to to give, I mean, to present the whole self. There's a realization of the freedom of this. King of Swords underneath with Five of Cups. This is what, this is walking away from that which no longer serves, a change of perspective, decisive action towards a connection. Um, I would like to know more about this Ace of Wands in reverse, which is read with the Eight of Cups. Ace of 
wands in reverse. These are stagnant, stagnant relationships. Ultimately fruitless, ultimately disappointing. Eight of Pentacles. No more desire to be trapped in this. We want to build something else. We want to build towards the Nine Pentacles. Freedom. We want freedom. There has been defensiveness against this. Now it is reversed. We're not going to allow this disappointment anymore. We're taking our cups and leaving. We're no longer hanging out in this energy of conflict. Yeah, we're, we're taking our cups and leaving. We're bringing them somewhere else. <laughs> uh, hmm. What is this we are building towards? the eight pentacles that's over here. What is this more specifically, if I could, that we're building towards? This new beginning with passion and love where we are vulnerable. What is this we're building towards? soul connection. Mm, five of wands at the bottom. Mm. Building towards vulnerability. <laughs> Wanting to be vulnerable. Yeah. Taking, dismantling the walls. We are working towards breaking down all of these barriers in the self so that they may be shared. So that our truths may be shared. So that the cup can flow freely. The energy can flow freely. The water. Which is the life force. Self desires to express. When it is held back, it becomes stagnant. And cut yourself off from passion, from the joy of life. This does seem pretty clear. <laughs> uh, parting words from the universe. Three final cards for this. There's not a need to clarify further. It is just fine. Final message from the universe, if you please, and what we are moving towards. Overcoming that nervousness. A new understanding, a deeper understanding of this connection. like not not the withholding of an offer but the reversal of that page energy into something that is 
more decisive and discerning and direct. Yeah. Discovering the freedom of this. Of taking all that we have learned from these previous cycles, from this disappointment, from these broken cups we have been drinking from. And pushing forward, pushing ahead with this, that itself is liberating. That itself brings about the rebirth. When you allow the energy to flow freely, it balances itself. When you allow natural order into your life, it is self-restorative. Yeah, the release of fear about this. Becoming more trusting of intuition. And there was the first card pulled. Four of Cups. Something is coming back around in a different way. This is an interesting energy. I, I would like to clarify just this Page of Pentacles in reverse. Pentacles reversed. It's a little bit of feeling like we got everything wrong. We got everything upside down. We've been working on things that have not really been teaching us anything. But there's a new connection that is liberating us from self-limiting belief, from this mindset. stabilizing. Look at that. We're growing. That is what I'm feeling. This is the reversal of the page. We're taking everything we've learned. Even understanding that it hasn't benefited us in the ways we thought. That we've been learning karmic lessons rather than soul blessing <laughs> expansion. All of it is soul growth. All of it is soul growth. Now we have this new stable foundation, this new sense of self to move towards the real connection. There is great liberation in that motion. And there is even more profound passion and abundance in accepting this connection and in walking towards it. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, not quite as long as I even thought, but... Uh, Things are moving, the 1212 portal approaching on Monday will be profoundly healing and allows us to fully integrate these lessons and step forward as the highest self. That is the reading, beloveds. Much is in motion. These connections will not be denied. The soul is driving all of this and celestial and divine forces are shifting things into place. Everything has come to assist. Rebirth, victory, a new sense of self, a new understanding of love, a new understanding of what happiness and love is, what it feels like, how powerful it is to flow the cup, to speak the truth, to be open-hearted, to release the burden of boundaries. All of this is coming. All of this is already <laughs> now. Turning to passion, 
letting it flow. The ice is not just thawing, it is breaking. It is assured. This is your message, beloveds. Our message. Reinforced tremendously by all the miraculous self-expressing occurring in these surroundings. Expressing freely and without remorse, regard, or contrition, simply delighting in being what it is as it is happening. Thank you for your witness. I am honored to deliver this and by your resonance. Have a beautiful evening, beloveds, as always always from one divine eternal sovereign self to another i love you